Good morning, y'all. Today I'm headed to a small lake here in West Tennessee. I think it's about two or three hundred acres. Uh, I haven't been here in about ten years, and I've only been here one time. And from what I know from uh, people I've talked to and things like that, there's some giants in here, and there's a good population of fish in here. So I'm headed down here today in hopes of mainly finding some bed fish. It's a good uh, clear water lake, and it's got lots of docks and uh, lots of little creeks and coves you can get back in, but if they're pre-spawn, post-spawn, I can find them on points and things like that. And, um, you know, I just think it'll be a good day overall. We're supposed to get up to 83 degrees today. It's 61 right now and it's still dark, so that tells me if these fish have not moved up to spawn yet that, you know, with the weather we've had the last couple of days, we've had high 70s, low 80s for the last three or four days in a row and last night was 60 61 degrees so i mean this should be that wave that moves up and we got a half moon that's always good with florida strain bass so i'm really looking forward to today i think you know if there's some giants in here like they say there is should be able to find one or two of them giants today and you know should overall just be able to catch some mess out of some fish because you know, the, the conditions are just too perfect. Uh, we got a south wind that's supposed to blow about 10 to 20 miles an hour, somewhere in there. So, you know, if nothing else, there'll be a reaction bite in the wind somewhere. So we're gonna go give it a try and uh, I'll see y'all on the water. A little bit, see so what this water temperature is. Oh, 65, that's pretty good. It's looking like <clears throat> there ain't a whole lot of fish down here on this dam. It's not near as deep as I thought it was gonna be. So I ain't gonna stay up here long at all. I don't think I'm just gonna kind of burn down these rocks real quick. I've seen not much fish activity whatsoever. I don't really like the bottom either. It's soft bottom full of leaves and stuff. I don't think this is the kind of area they're gonna spawn in really. Pretty good looking cover for the most part, but. So I just don't, I don't like the bottom right here. Not a hard bottom at all. All right, I'm getting out of here. Well, this is crazy. 66 degree water at the end of April and I can't catch a fish if you threw it at me. Freaking big and stay baby, stay, stay, stay hooked, baby, stay hooked, stay hooked. Please tell me I'm recording. Stay hooked, baby. Golly, that's a big one. <clears throat> yes. Oh gosh dang. Okay. That's what lives in here, huh? Yes, sir. Whew. Get her on the scale. God. And she bit, I thought I was hung up. Oh, didn't move, son. Let's see what she weighs. Heck yeah, y'all. Four seventy six. There we go. Sweet. Good fish. Begging on begging. Four seventy eight is what my last read my scale has. That's the biggest one I've caught all year. Just got done saying I couldn't catch a fish if you threw it at me and then that sucker latched on it. Oh, I felt good. Heck yeah. I was just thinking, I mean, this bottom is like sandy. 
Because there's some cypress trees right there. I mean, that's a perfect bedding opportunity. That fish actually looks post spawn, though. Uh, she may have just been up here cruising the shallows. Uh, or she may have been garden fryer right there. I don't know. But, whew. So that's the first bite I've had. Thing there, five pounder. If that's uh, the kind of quality I'm going to have when I do get bit, I'll, I'll take not getting bit very often. I mean, this is the best way to bed fish without actually looking at them. I'm just basically covering water with a Texas rig. So these fish may not be on beds, they may all be post spawn, but I may have to back off and fish some points here after a while. Look oh, bass there, he acted like he was moving off the bed too. Let's see, I couldn't see him, so if he was on a the bed, then I probably just blew my chance of a female, but I ain't gonna be mad about it. I finally feel like I'm doing the right thing. Heck yeah. I'm throwing a piece of cover out there. That's a good fish too. Definitely not a bad one. Nice fish. Oh, nice one. Choke the chatterbait. Look how long he is. 15 inches. Hmm, guys, I've got a giant on a bed right here. Can't get my <clears throat> super stick a little tighter to the boat there. Gosh darn it. to the boat. All right. To get to this fish, she's staying around like she's, she's not getting far off and she's not leaving. So she's very catchable. I just can't see her real good with all this junk that's floating on the water. Hey, John, I'm fixing to get real crazy. See if I can't hurt myself for sure. There we go. Let's scare her off. Let's make dang good sure we do that. Take my phone out of my pocket just in case I go swimming. Dropped it right on its head. Got her to bite that time though. It's a good thing. Dang it. Just can't do nothing with this fish. Up on her. Tell you what, I'm gonna give it one more cricket change. Cause they seem to like the old ginger special, like every other fish in the world. Give them the old ginger special. And if that don't work, I'm gonna come off of them. 
Ginger Special Works. After nothing else did, I'm fixing to be bugging the crap out of reaction innervations about making this a regular run bait. Sucker to bite. I felt like 45 minutes on this fish. Not as big as I thought it was. Unless that's the male. Heck yeah. Oh. Heck yeah, y'all. I think that's actually a, it's like a giant male. Unless it's a really spawned out female. Good fish though. I'm gonna get her back in because she's bleeding. I ain't gonna wear her. I'm gonna say three and a half or so. Woo! Finally. That's awesome. Woo! Finally got to catch one off a of bed. Staying on top of my cooler. And I'll tell you what, if you got a small boat. Get you a super stick. Cause that was legit. Thank you, girl. Woo! Finally. Hey, uh. He bit me the first time I pitched it in there and then never bit me again, so. I don't know. There's a stick. what they're on this little bank right here now this is where i caught that first four and three quarter this morning something about that chunk rock right here i don't know all right guys i hope y'all enjoyed that i had a good time sight fishing uh don't get to sight fish very much on the lakes that i usually fish on and uh you know, I just had a good time doing it. I kind of probably could have caught more fish, uh, fishing some other ways. But like I said, you know, I kind of married myself to the sight fishing thing as much as I could. There wasn't many fish on beds, but I did catch another one off camera. Had the trolling motor on high looking for beds, came up on it, backed off of it, turned around a couple minutes later and first pitched to the bed. She bit it. She was a 2.88. Uh, just good fish had fun catching her but unfortunately I didn't get that one on camera and I had a couple other sight fish that I played with for a little while that I just couldn't get to commit to the bait uh, they were making big circles and not really wanting to bite so uh, you know I spent some time on them but all in all I had a good day caught some other fish doing some you know shallow water stuff a couple of them possibly on beds maybe not you know it could have been fry garters or whatever but like I said, uh, either way, fishing shallow, you know, Texas rig mostly, and just kind of fishing the way I love to fish. Uh, that that big one that I caught on the bed, unfortunately, was really skinny, but I mean, y'all saw how long she was. That, that fish made me think she was at least five or six pounds when I saw her, but still had an awesome time playing with that fish and finally getting her to commit to the bait and catching her. Like I said, I know awesome sight fisherman because i don't get to do it much so i just had a blast playing around with it and uh you know and just fishing a lake that i hadn't fished in years that i had pretty much zero experience on like i said the last time i went there i fished it for about two hours and uh you know and that was a totally different time of year so it wasn't like it was you know i had much experience on that lake so uh like i said guys i hope y'all enjoyed it I appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see y'all at the next stop. God bless you.